I've bought a few different Chinese scooters over the last couple years, and one thing I've realized is people are horrible with their scooters. They don't maintain them, they lose the keys, and worst of all, they lose the title. People, you can't sell a motor vehicle if you don't have the title. What the hell? Okay, say you bought a scooter. In order to legally operate that scooter on the road, you must have a title, you must register the scooter, you must have insurance on the scooter, and in the state of Utah, you must also have a motorcycle endorsement on your license for any size scooter. In a perfect world, the seller has the title. Maybe they even registered it too. And all they need to do is fill out the assignment of title by owner. They sign it, you sign it, you take this to the DMV, and the scooter is yours. Now, say that person sucks. They lost that shit. Here's what you do. Before you give them any money, make sure that scooter was indeed theirs. So they had a title at some point. Hopefully they have some registration. Maybe it was registered to them. Look for a license plate. Fill out a bill of sale. Put the VIN, have them sign it. And then, before you leave, have that owner, the person who it was registered to, fill out this application for a duplicate title. This is gonna be the owner, the person who it was registered to. Have them sign it, and then you put your name on the bottom part. You take these two items to the DMV, and they can get you a title. Now say that person's really a piggy, and they lost all that shit too. No title, no registration, nothing. That's what happened to me. I bought this scooter from a guy who bought it from another guy who had it in storage, who lost the title. No license plate, no registration. I have no idea whose scooter this was. I'm gonna ask the DMV what to do in this case. I have the scooter loaded up and I'm heading to the DMV to see what they say. I'm back from the DMV and they gave me this public insufficient evidence of ownership packet. Apparently there are a lot of dumbasses out there, so the DMV is prepared. The first thing they need is printed digital photos of all sides of the vehicle, including any damage. For example, if the engine is missing or there are flat tires, you wanna get pictures so they have an accurate description of the condition so they can get an idea of how much it's worth. Next, you fill out the ownership statement. This has the year, make, model, VIN, your address, and the reason why the title is missing. The next form is the certificate of VIN inspection. This form must be filled out by a DMV employee or a police officer. I was able to get this done at the DMV. The lady came out and inspected the VIN plate on the frame of my scooter. So that is done. They also want a bill of sale, but it's not required. In my case, I don't actually know who it was registered to, so I don't have any relevant information. I left this form blank. Finally, there's a vehicle application for title. Basically, this is me asking the state of Utah to make me a title for this vehicle. Year, make, model, VIN, my address, signature, that kind of stuff. With all the forms filled out, I can take this packet along with the pictures to the DMV, and then I wait. There are three possible outcomes. One, this scooter was stolen. I'll be sitting in handcuffs explaining to the police officer how I did not know this scooter was stolen. Option two, dumbass who had it before had a lien on it and the bank will want X number of dollars from me before I can have a title. Option number three, it's not stolen, there is no lien, they can just give me a title. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I waited patiently for three months, then I got a letter in the mail from the Utah State Tax Commission and they're asking for $12.85 for a title and sales tax on this scooter. So I went back in time to the 1990s and got a check for $12.85, which I will send in the mail to the Utah State Tax Commission, and hopefully I will get a title for the scooter back in the mail sometime soon. Just four days later, I received the title in the mail, and here it is, my sweet new title. You may have noticed the white scooter is missing. That's because it broke down, so I was very motivated to get this scooter going. I went to the DMV, title in hand, gave them $76, and came back out with this registration certificate, as well as a new license plate. As you can see, getting a replacement title for this scooter was a bit of a process. Buying a scooter without a title is a bit of a gamble. It could be stolen, or there could be a loan on it, and you could end up losing the scooter as well as the money that you paid for it. If you're looking to buy a used scooter, make sure the person has a title for it. If you want to buy a scooter that doesn't have a title, make sure you don't pay very much money for it. That's all I have for now. If you like this video, go ahead and mash that subscribe button. 
and I'll see you guys next time.